Right guys, so today is pixel day. My phone should be arriving somewhere between 12.05 and 1.05. It's now 20 past 12 and I've just realized I'm out of batteries for my light. So I'm gonna head out and grab some batteries for this and in the interim time, hopefully my phone will have arrived. Oh my god, it's here. So this guys is what you get in the box if you order a Google Pixel from the Play Store. We've got the phone itself, we've then got two different USB leads. This one is a USB-C to USB-C connection and this one is a USB to USB-C. There is also this little on the go dongle which is USB to USB-C. And because I'm in the UK I've got a three pin wall charger adapter and it's one of those nice ones that folds flat and just pops up. So they're really easy to put in a bag or slip in your pocket. But now let's get rid of all that stuff and get to the phone itself. So I have gone for the black version and the first thing I'm noticing is this thing looks like is gonna pick up quite a few fingerprints. And this is a general issue with black phones and especially as we've got this glass panel on the back here. We are just gonna go ahead and power it on for the first time. My immediate thoughts of how this feels in the hand is it feels, it feels very like an iPhone. I'm gonna put that one out there. This feels pretty much the closest I've experienced to holding an iPhone with an Android phone. And that's definitely not a criticism. Apple's hardware is always on point. And this feels really, really lovely in the hand. So on the back, we've got the fingerprint scanner, which is mounted into this weird glass panel, which doesn't seem to have any particular value apart from looking a little bit quirky. I actually quite like the two-tone look. I think it breaks up the back of what would otherwise be a very, very minimal phone. Also in this back glass panel, we've got the flash, the 12 megapixel camera, which Google are claiming is the best mobile camera ever. And we're gonna be testing that out later on on the channel. And we've got a couple of sensors as well. The power button is really reminding me of the power button on the 6P. It's got that textured finish, so it feels really, really nice. Um, it's very tactile. And then underneath that, we have the volume rocker. And then on the other side of the phone, we've got the lonely SIM card tray. One of the design elements that people were complaining about with this phone is the quite large chin. Obviously, there's no hardware buttons or fingerprint scanners as the fingerprint scanner is on the back. So this is kind of just wasted dead space and it is pretty large. It looks larger on camera for some reason. Kind of looking at it in my hand, it doesn't feel as bad, but seeing it on camera, it definitely looks um, excessively large. So we're going to go ahead and set this up. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. I think the wallpaper is changing. Is this a live wallpaper? This is pretty, pretty neat. So you can see we've got the Pixel Launcher, which we've obviously all seen before. We've got this new scroll up dock with all of your applications in at the bottom. At the moment, this is just a one screen setup. You scroll left and you go straight to Google now. If you hold down. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. Oh, wow. I can help you find yeah. what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? What can you do? Here are a couple of suggestions. You can say things like, did the Red Sox win? Or tell me sports news. Just swipe to see more suggestions. Did the Leicester Tigers win their last match? Hmm. Will I need an umbrella later this afternoon? No, rain is not expected this afternoon in Birmingham. The forecast is 12 degrees Celsius and mostly cloudy. So if you long press the home button, you obviously get to Google Assistant and you've got this nice new little animation as well. So there we are guys, that is my very quick unboxing of the Google Pixel phone. This is obviously the five inch variant and it feels really, really nice in the hand. I'm loving the hardware. I'm not 100% sure on the look yet. I think it might grow on me 
It's a little bit more gray than I was anticipating. I thought it was gonna be a slightly darker black, but I'm sure I can get used to it. But this has been Steve for Android at night. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see with this phone. I'm gonna be playing around with it a lot over the next couple of days. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the latest stuff on the Google Pixel. Go ahead and hit the like button if you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.